in this example, we will be simplifying the square root of 20. In order to find the square root of 20, we will first review the math rule that the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning that if we have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, we will be able to separate them out into their own individual square roots multiplied by each other. In order to apply this to the square root of 20, we will use the factors of 20, which I'll use 4 and 5 because 4 is a perfect square. This will help us simplify in the future. Now we can take a look at the square root of 20, which we can rewrite as the square root of 5 times 4. We can then separate this out into the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. And we can see that the square root of 4 is 2 because 2 times 2 gives us 4. We can then rewrite the square root of 20 as 2 times the square root of 5. This is our simplified version. However, if we want to estimate the square root of 20 to the nearest whole number, we can take a look at perfect squares nearby. Perfect squares nearby include 4 squared, which is 16, and 5 squared, which is 25. We can see that 20 lies between 16 and 25, so we can rewrite an inequality where the square root of 16 is less than the square root of 20, which is less than the square root of 25. Because 4 squared is 16, the square root of 16 is 4, and because 5 squared is 20, the square root of 20 is 5. Therefore, the square root of 20 lies between 4 and 5. We can then look at the difference between the perfect squares of 20 in order to find the value that the square root of 20 is closest to. So we would then do 20 minus 16 to give us 4, and then 25 minus 20 to give us 5. Because 4 is less than 5, we can see that 4 is closer to the square root of 20 than 5 is. Therefore, we can estimate the square root of 20 as approximately 4.